Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to, to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, and today's video is going to be about selling uh, implied volatility using the IV rank um, to tell if options are cheap or expensive. Um, so let's jump right into it. But first, I want to talk to you guys about my Patreon portfolio page where I trade uh, stock dividends and options and have stock market educational videos. So make sure you check it out at patreon.com slash day trading fearless. Okay, so we're back and let's uh, take a look at what we're going to be talking about, right? Today, we're going to be talking about what is IV rank, okay? Uh, what what this is, is it's this lower study. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below uh, of this chart so you can have the IV rank, okay, um, on any of your charts. Now, you'll want this only on the daily chart, just so you know. And there has to be at least a year's worth. If you go to Zoom, okay, with Zoom, uh, you could see here on ZM, it really didn't start to go until uh, May or whatever for some reason. So sometimes you'll see little things like that. But if you go to like PLTR, uh, Palantir, right? You, there's not enough for it to show, so it's not going to show up. So you need at least one year's worth of uh, data, okay, that it's actually been on the markets to be able to get this. And what this is, is the IV rank in s the simplest terms is essentially showing you that it's where it's been ranking from zero to 100 over the last 365 days and where implied volatility is right so right now implied volatility and usually it's showing you the front month contract okay um of 32.2 percent okay well we don't know if that's cheap or expensive for a stock right because you could look at something like zoom and if we go back to zoom Okay, they have a 59% implied volatility, but the rank's at 29% at the lower end, right? Uh, you could go to something like Tesla, okay, where you have a 67% implied volatility, right? But look at the IV rank, it's only 13. Well, if we go to T, right, we're at 32. So what it is, is it's, it's ranking where implied volatility is relative to itself um, on the front month contract, right? So we could see we're at about the 20% level, and this is what it's showing you. And let's kind of make this a little bigger, right? So here would be zero down here, and here would be 100 over the last 365 days. <laughs> okay, now what happened? The market started to fall in March and April and May, right? And IV rank was at the highest levels. Well, implied volatility probably, instead of it being around 30, was up around 8, 60 or 70 relative to itself, which means in the simplest terms, with the IV rank, how expensive or cheap are the options? Well, guess what? When we're near the zero, options are very cheap to be selling puts, right? Or to buy calls. Now, if we're, when we're up at the 100, then you want to be a seller of puts, not of calls, because the calls are going to be pumped up, uh, or even the puts are going to be pumped up with a lot of premium, right? So right now, we're about, we'll just round it off to about 21%. IV rank, okay? Um, with that being said, they're not cheap and they're not expensive. I like to look at the 50 line usually of certain things, right? Going, hey, these are really cheap uh, to maybe uh, to sell calls or puts. Maybe I don't want to sell them. But um, I did do some options this past week in my Patreon portfolio where I sold, or a couple of weeks ago, sorry about that, um, where I sold 
uh, puts okay on uh, AT&T because we were having the pullback and I'm watching this maybe 27 28 level to look to sell puts um, and the options the puts that I sold really weren't that expensive, okay, relative to itself. But I kind of like the pullback, and I can't sit there and just wait for them to get all the way up to 50. As you could see, over the last year, we only had a couple opportunities, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then everything else has been really cheap. OK, but sometimes we need to figure out a trade and this is more of selling premium to collect money, uh, kind of like playing a dividend trade of but selling premium where we wouldn't mind buying. Now, the problem is, is we only collected like 18 cents on this trade, I believe it was. Um, but if this IV rank was maybe up around the 50 percent. OK, instead of selling for the same amount of time and collecting 18 cents, we might be able to sell this put with the same amount of time for, we'll say, 65 cents. Right. Where everything would be no the same. The only difference is the implied the IV rank is up around 50 55 which means there's more premium built in if we got the bounce then that premium would probably get sucked up sucked out but sometimes you see things like this where as we're near the lows right price goes down but then as we start to rally look at this rally right as we start to rally look at this the IV rank actually started to move higher which is what happens sometimes normally it's the opposite right is we move lower IV rank goes up but sometimes it and it could be a telltale in your own trading that if the IV rank starts to move higher with the price moving higher okay that might be a telltale of hey maybe this move is really not happening right uh or is doing what it should be doing but um the other reason it might move up is because of earnings right is we're kind of falling down we're holding this right because that sell-off should have actually made us really spike but um we're kind of going sideways with the sell-off because we have a earnings coming up so these are other factors you really want to look at when you're selling options now a rule of thumb is if the iv rank is above 50 you want to be a seller of premium so you want to be selling puts um if you're below 50 you want to be buying calls right or call spreads do directional trades now i like to sell puts to collect income OK, but I want to do it on high IV rank uh, stocks. Now, if I look at something like a TSLA uh, Tesla, well, here when we actually spiked up to these levels over here, maybe you want to look to be a seller um, of puts. But the problem is the price went down with it, too. Now, as we make new highs, you can't collect as much premium. But here. We're near the low end, right? We're at 13% on IV rank. So guess what? I would probably be looking if we came up anymore and this keeps going down, I'd be looking to be a buyer of puts because if this rolls over and the market starts to roll over on something like Tesla, then what's going to happen is it's going to be a win-win because I'm correct on, on the direction, but also premium gets pumped into those puts that I'm actually long for a correct directional play. So I hope that uh, kind of helps you guys with understanding what the IV rank is, how it could really help in your own trading. Same with the implied volatility, right? Just remember it, anything below 50, 40, 50, somewhere around there, you usually want to be a buyer of calls for directional play. Um, but um, 
and uh, but again sometimes if you see price moving higher like this it also is a telltale right because some stocks right here right is it kept going higher iv was getting really really rich no there might be a earnings report or here there was a split uh, that happened so multiple things could be happening uh, during that time but again you can maybe so look here we made new highs maybe look uh, to be selling puts but you might take a little heat but you could go a lot farther down when you're selling those puts which is good for a high IV rank so I hope this video helps uh, thank you um, as always for watching my videos and don't forget to check out my patreon page and until next time we'll talk to you soon thank you